Hello everyone, it's me, Evan, and one day I'm gonna use WD-40 on this squeaky chair. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're gonna be looking at a concept that, uh, you know, I've, I've known about for a while, but only recently have implemented into a usable, well, semi-usable thing. And that is the concept of an Orion drive. Essentially, the, the gist of this idea is that you uh, throw nuclear bombs out behind you, blow them up, and then use a big plate with shock absorbers on it to absorb that energy and use it to propel yourself. Now, I know this sounds like some sort of um, comedy sketch, but this is something that they actually were looking at in the 80s and stuff. Um, look it up, Project Orion, and it was like, <laughs> they, they wanted to pull the trigger on some bigger projects, but Kennedy was like, uh, let's not do that. So, anyway. <clears throat> of course, in Space Engineers, we do not have nuclear bombs, at least without mods. So what I'm using in Space Engineers is, of course, a uh, normal warhead device. So you can see there, there's our pusher plate. We're going to extend that out a little bit just to start our cycle. And let's begin. So I'm going to turn off my forward thrust. You can see there. And now, you can see every time that goes off, we get roughly around 4.4 to 5 meters per second of acceleration. See, our speed is going up. There, we just jumped from 14 to 19. And from 19 to 23.7. So it's, it, it depends on how many subgrids you have attached is one of the things I've discovered. The acceleration gets sort of nerfed by the amount of subgrid interactions you've got going on. Um, but actually, higher weight does help it get consistently closer to five. So if we stop this madness, there we go, another one goes off, and that should be the last one in the cycle. Yep, okay, we're gonna extend that out so it's ready to use again. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the front here, and I'm gonna do something that would normally be uh, bad for the continued acceleration of a ship, which is to stick a massive chunk of heavy armor on the front. All right, so I have constructed here a, as you can see, 15 by 15 by 15 block of heavy armor. This is solid heavy armor. And we're going to push it with this drive. And you'll see that uh, the acceleration doesn't actually go down. So, as you can see, <laughs> we now weigh 19.7 million kilograms. Um, so, that's a lot. And uh, let's, let's actually slow down so that we can get a, a proper sense for exactly how much uh, acceleration per charge we still get from this. It'll take a second to slow down, because obviously these conventional thrusters have got to slow down this huge block of metal. There is some internal thrust as well. Let's try to slow that huge chunk down. All right, so here we go. So now we begin. See that gave us 4.7 meters per second, just like it was doing before. So this can accelerate basically any weight 
Um, and without too much issue. Really. This thing is what we call in the biz a hecking chonker. Uh, it's 100% heavy armor, basically. Um, this was like the first ship I built, the Dragoness, and it's it's big. It's got like a gravity cannon in the nose and all that. But that's not the important part. The important part is that it's big and it's really heavy. We've got two of these drives, and I've set them up to be offset from each other, so they should be, you know, firing at the exact opposite times. So, now I want to demonstrate the incredible pushing power of this exotic drive type. Because, let me tell you, it's uh, pretty significant. So, let's kick it off. We've got our dampeners off. All right. So you can see. We're getting pushed along on a pretty good clip. Now granted, it's not as fast as conventional thrusters, but for something this size to be moving this quickly, that's quite impressive. Don't mind me. Just uh, scooping. But yeah, so I think this is a pretty good proof of concept of like how this can be actually quite effective in terms of accelerating. I mean, even though we weigh this much or this big, it still accelerates us just the same. I think I'll call it here so I don't keep rambling. But I think this is a really cool thing and uh, I, I hope more people start using cool and exotic drives like this because everyone's just like when they think exotic drive they always just go for the gravity drive which is boring it's lame and boring everyone uses them obviously they're the best but these much cooler much much cooler and even more scalable than a gravity drive so without further ado the tata you'll have a good day